welcome back to my kitchen for another what's for dinner video i'm courtney if you're new here and i post these what's for dinner videos every single friday to give you guys some meal inspiration but overall i'm just sharing what i've cooked up for my family of four throughout the week and i just enjoy sharing it with you guys so i hope you guys enjoy it and if you do make sure you give it a thumbs up in this week's video, it's a little bit different just because I thought it would be fun to share some of our favorite casseroles with you guys. We love casseroles. I've always loved casseroles. Funny story though, my granddad will not eat a casserole. If it has the word casserole in it, he won't touch it. I don't know why, but he's literally, I've never seen him eat a casserole except for one time when I made a corn casserole, but I called it corn pudding instead and he tried it and he actually liked it. So. Who knows? I would love to hear what y'all's favorite casseroles are. Let me know in the comments down below. I think I've shared a couple of these casseroles in what's for dinner videos in the past, but it's been a long time, like when I first started. So I just wanted to share them again because I know we all watch a lot of recipes and we're seeing lots of them. You kind of can forget about them sometimes. And I just really have been wanting some of these anyway, because it's been a long time since I have had them. So I'm sharing them with you guys. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Tonight we're making squash casserole and BLTs. Sorry if you can hear the laundry in the background. We had to do laundry. Um, but I've got two squash. This one's a really big one. And then I've got a smaller one. A sleeve of Ritz crackers. I'm gonna put some garlic in it. Onion, got the eggs, cheese. We'll also be using some salt, pepper, butter, milk, and then olive oil to cook the squash. You'll see. And then of course you know what goes in a BLT. But first I'm gonna do the squash casserole so I've got the oven preheated to 400 and first we're going to chop up the onion and cook that and the squash on the stove. I cut up half of an onion and now I'm going to cut up the squash and then we'll start cooking those. When you guys cook squash do you peel it or just leave it like this? I'm gonna add my half of an onion to this oil that I've got heating up in the pan, as well as some garlic in there as well, and just let those saute for about three minutes. Now that this has been simmering for a few minutes, I'm gonna add in all of my squash, which this is quite a bit, and then fourth a cup of water, put a lid on it and let that steam until the squash is soft. So I'm hoping that'll be like five or six minutes. We'll see. So while the squash is steaming on the stove, I'm gonna, I've got my whole sleeve of Ritz crackers. I'm just gonna break those up with my hand, add the cheese in it and toss it. Then once I get the two mixed together, I'm gonna separate half of it. So now with this half of the mixture, I'm gonna add in two beaten eggs, fourth a cup of milk, and fourth a cup of melted butter. And then once the squash is done, we'll add it to this mixture and then put it in a baking pan. It ended up taking about like seven or eight minutes to get this to tender. I think I just cut some of the slices a little too thick. Now for the rest of this cracker and cheese mixture, I'm going to spread it across the top of this. Then I'll use like two tablespoons of butter and just cut pieces on top of it, all over it. Stick it in the oven for 25 minutes. For the BLTs, we're gonna cook the bacon in the air fryer and I actually looked it up online and it says to cook it on 400 for 10 minutes. So we're gonna try that out and see how that goes. Definitely not enough. We'll add three more extra. 
here it is. Don't this look good? We've got the BLT on some sourdough bread and then the squash casserole turned out really good. The bacon was kind of weird in the air fryer. It definitely took longer than 10 minutes. I kind of lost track of how much time I kept on adding to it. Probably like 17 minutes, I'd say. And I took some of it out. It wasn't like cooking evenly. So I took some of it out that was already done at like 15 minutes and then there's more still in the air fryer. And maybe that's just cause we put some on top of each other. I don't know. Um, but that's what it said on the internet. I don't know. And I know I've mentioned before that I'm not crazy about tomatoes, but I actually like them on BLTs and like a tomato biscuit. I know that's probably really weird, but I don't like them like in salads or anything like that. So anyway, this is what's for supper tonight. Y'all, I've only taken like two bites of this so far and I forgot to put salt and pepper in it like I was meant to and was supposed to, but it is so good. This is probably gonna be hard to beat for this week. Tonight I'm gonna be making one of my favorite casseroles. Well, I guess I'll probably be like saying that every night cause they're all my favorite, but I'm sure everybody makes chicken casserole differently and I found many different recipes and I wasn't like satisfied with any of them so I came up with this chicken casserole and we all absolutely love it. It's super easy to make and I actually made this for my grandmother before she had passed away and she actually said it was the best chicken casserole she had ever had. I don't know if she was just saying that to be nice but I took it as a very high compliment. It's super easy. I've got three chicken breasts cooking in the instant pot but you can use rotisserie chicken. However you get chicken shredded, just do it that way. I've got a can of cream of chicken. It does have the herbs with it. That's just what my husband picked up. One cup of shredded cheddar cheese. This is one cup of sour cream and half a cup of mayo. I just went ahead and put it in this measuring cup. I've got a sleeve of Ritz crackers, one stick of melted butter, and then some French fried onions that I'm gonna put on top as well. I saved you guys from seeing me chop up a bunch of onions and celery, or maybe you guys are like me and you actually like seeing people chop up veggies and things. I find it very satisfying. You can let me know in the comments down below, but I just left it out and went ahead and did it. This is half of an onion and then three stalks of celery. The stalks of celery were pretty small though, so I would say do two to three, depending on how much, like, how much you like celery or just don't even add it at all if you don't like it. So I'm gonna mix all of these five ingredients first before adding in the chicken and we'll go from there. the shredded chicken. Again, it's three chicken breasts and I don't think I said what I seasoned it with, but all I seasoned it with in the instant pot was some salt, pepper, and garlic powder. I was a little generous on the garlic powder just because we like that flavor. Pan. I'm going to crush up the Ritz crackers all over the top of this, pour on the melted butter. Ooh, I forgot to preheat the oven. I better do that. I'm preheating it to 350. But once I get the crushed up Ritz and the butter poured on, I'm going to cook it in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. you're probably wondering about the french fried onions I actually save these until it's almost cooked and put them on like when there's five or ten minutes left so that they don't burn y'all can you hear that bubbling mm, it smells so good here it is plated up we've got some green beans on the side i was going to do rolls but it just didn't happen <laughs> i didn't feel like making them so we've got the chicken casserole and green beans, and that's what's for supper tonight. If y'all try any of these casserole recipes, I would love to hear about it and see how y'all like them, because like I said, these are tried and true family favorite recipes that I'm sharing with you guys, so I'd love to hear if you try them. Kind of 
coming at you tonight with another easy casserole that we absolutely love. I'm going to be making a pizza casserole and I do cut this one in half just because it's kind of a lot for our family of four with two toddlers. So I'm still using a pound of ground beef. We got some mozzarella cheese, pepperonis. I'm going to use these ones up before I use those. I cut up a whole green pepper and then a little bit of onion that I had left over from last night. And then I've got some marinara sauce, but use pizza sauce, any kind of spaghetti sauce, any kind that you like um, is fine to use. I'm just using this one that I had open in the um, fridge. And if that's not enough, then I've got this one as well. And some rotini noodles. I've got the oven preheated to 350. I'm gonna be cooking my ground beef with the peppers and onions and starting my pasta here in just a second too. And since I'm cutting the recipe in half, I'm using half of the box of pasta. Now I'm going to start laying the casserole. I'll do the pasta mixture first and I'm actually going to add a little bit more sauce on top of the pasta just because I like more, mine more saucy but if you don't then you totally don't need to do that and then we'll do layers of cheese and pepperonis then repeat. Now I'm gonna stick it in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. It smells so good y'all. I wish you could smell this. I probably say that way too often but I really mean it. We're having it with some garlic bread and just keeping it simple but this is what's for supper tonight. Tonight's casserole is going to be a corn casserole. I haven't made this in years but I decided to make this. I was going to make a potato casserole but we didn't have cream of onion on hand and I thought we did so I changed things up and we're making a corn casserole now. Um, it's only six ingredients. I've got a can of whole kernel corn, a can of cream corn, two eggs, a stick of melted butter, one cup of sour cream, and then a box of Jiffy corn mix. Literally, all I'm gonna do is mix all of these ingredients, except for the sour cream, into the casserole pan. I'm not even gonna dirty up any other dishes, and then I'll add in the sour cream last. Now that I got the first five ingredients, I'm gonna go ahead and stir in the sour cream too. Now we pop it into a 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. And I did tell you that I changed it from the potato casserole to this casserole. And if you're still wishing to see the potato casserole and how I've made that, I've done that a couple times. And I'll leave one of those videos in the description box below for you guys, so you can definitely check that one out too. To go along with the corn casserole, we're gonna be making this pork loin. It's the slow roasted golden rotisserie flavor one. And when we normally make pork loins, we do it in the oven on a broiler pan, but it takes quite a long time. And this one's like almost two pounds. So I was like, I wonder if you can cook that in the air fryer. And apparently the internet thinks you can. I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but we're gonna test it out. Here's how 
how the corn casserole turned out. I think it came out really good. And then the pork tenderloin in the air fryer, um, we cooked it, I think, total for about 26 minutes to make sure it was done. I checked it with the thermometer and it's really tender, but the outside is very, very crispy. So if that's your thing, then you would definitely like it in the air fryer. I don't know if we'll do it again, but it was worth a try. This was the last casserole of the week. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And I just want to say thank you. I've said this before, but I just feel like I can't say it enough. I just wanted to say thank you to all of you that support me and my channel. It means so much to me. You guys have no idea, but I appreciate you all. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye y'all.